In Sudza, located in the Kursk region, the majority of residents have evacuated following the arrival of Ukrainian armed forces with only those who could not or chose not to leave remaining behind. How these residents live, their views on the Ukrainian military and their understanding of Ukraine's presence were reported by journalists from Ukrainian Pravda. According to the report, Sudza differs significantly from the devastated border towns in the Sumy, Kharkiv, Donetsk, Luhansk, Zaporizhia and Kherson regions which have been razed by Russian forces. Despite sustaining some damage to key buildings like a local hospital, a cultural center and administrative offices, the city remains mostly unscathed. Residents predominantly travel by bicycle and face shortages of power, communications and food supplies. Many domestic animals wander the streets in search of food abandoned by their fleeing owners. Local villagers in the Kursk region describe their areas as reminiscent of Ukrainian villages, well-maintained homes and clear signs of agricultural activity. There has been no conflict between locals and Ukrainian soldiers, with some residents revealing their Ukrainian ancestry. One local shared his story. The Ukrainian soldiers are regular visitors. They're well-mannered, like you. My children left, but I didn't because my mother is paralyzed. I understand Ukrainian, as my grandparents were from Poltava. We have to watch Ukrainian TV. There were once celebrations on the border where regions partnered. We'd visit Sumy. People from Sumy would come here, get married and have children. Ukrainian medics operating in Sudza acknowledge their discomfort, noting their presence on foreign soil under international law. However, they report few injuries among Ukrainian soldiers. As Ukrainian forces have observed, the city's destruction is escalating due to Russian mortar and drone strikes. Consequently, many locals are now sheltering in basements. One Ukrainian soldier highlighted the locals' shock upon seeing images of Ukrainian cities destroyed by Russian forces, finding it hard to believe their own military could commit such destruction. He noted that many locals express a desire to live out their days in peace indifferent to the war and often greet Ukrainian soldiers in Ukrainian. Many residents have family in Sumy and have ceased prior looting activities, now cooperating with Ukrainian troops for essential supplies. Colonel Roman Kostenko of the Ukrainian Security Service recently remarked that the local population did not resort to Molotov cocktails when approached by Ukrainian forces. The destruction of all three bridges across the Seam River in the Kursk region could force Russian troops to repeat the Kherson scenario. This was stated in a commentary to Espresso by military expert, Director of Development of the Information and Consulting Company Defense Express, Valery Ryabik, commenting on the information that the Ukrainian armed forces could have hit the bridge in the area of the settlement of Kariz. I would like to remind you that before this, a bridge was destroyed in the Glushkovo area, in the Zvanoi area, and now there is a third bridge which completely blocks the enemy's base area, which is limited on four sides and, in fact, we can talk about a certain operational encirclement, he explained. According to the expert, control over the crossings will leave the Russian army without the ability to provide its own logistics. According to Ryabik, this area has an area of about 700 kilometers, which is already under remote control of Ukrainian troops. A situation is arising where the enemy will be forced to make a difficult decision for itself and gradually do the same thing it did in the Kherson region when it was forced to retreat beyond the Dnieper, the analyst noted. Recall last week, it became known about strikes on a bridge in the Russian village of Glushkovo, the very next day, the Russians announced that it had been destroyed. On August the 18th, the bridge near the village of Zvanoi came under attack and was significantly damaged. And on August the 19th, Russian war correspondents wrote about the destruction of the last bridge across the seam. As reported by Defense Express, with all three bridges in the area destroyed, Russia now has no major river crossings left. This leaves most of the Glushkovsky district trapped between the Ukrainian border and the Seam River effectively cut off. This area covers about 600 square kilometers, roughly the same size as the area currently controlled by Ukrainian forces in Russia. 
Russian mill bloggers are already claiming that the destruction of bridges isn't a major issue because they've set up pontoon crossings. Public satellite images confirm this, showing that the pontoon crossing near the Glushkovo was restored. While building a pontoon crossing over the Seam River, which is 30 to 80 meters wide in this area, isn't difficult for the Russian army. Pontoon crossings have limited capacity, so the flow of traffic is much slower, Defense Express added.